Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're on my neighbor's farm. Just got some fresh sweet corn right off the cob. You can eat it, it's amazing. And we're diagnosing his 2006 Subaru Outback Wagon. He said, it won't rev up. It just, you turn it on, it idles. No go. He didn't even want to drive it to my shop. So let's, uh, let's see what codes it's storing. And my wife Amanda thinks, what do you think it is? <laughs> definitely the throttle body. The, that, that's a good guess. That's a very good guess. It's probably a limp home mode, the <laughs> throttle body. She's getting good. So, scan it for codes here. We have a P2138 accelerator position sensor circuit range performance. Great guess. <laughs> Related to the electronic throttle control system. So that was a history code. Let's look at generic OBD codes. Make sure we're not missing anything. Codes. There's a 2138 again. And pending codes. 2138. Okay. Just one code. Let us go to Troubleshooter and look at what the P2138 code setting criteria is. Description, accelerator pedal position, pedal assembly contains two APP sensors used to detect accelerator pedal opening and travel. APP sensor signal voltage will vary according to the movement, yep. Um, okay, and code set condition, ECM detects the input values from APP sensor 1 and sensor 2 do not correlate with each other as the throttle pedal is pressed and released. Cool. Possible causes, position, wiring, etc. Excellent. Let's just take a quick look at the data and press the gas pedal. And we want the throttle control data. All right, and here we go. Let's customize that. Deselect, and we want accelerator pedal position, throttle angle, accelerator sensor, sub throttle sensor, main throttle sensor, sub accelerator sensor. And that's about it. List view. All right, here we go. Let's see if they're correlated. Sub accelerator and main accelerator. 1.1, 1.2. I'm going to depress the gas pedal slowly and we'll see what they do. All the way to the floor, we have 3.4 and 3.5. Release it. 1.1 and 1.2, looks pretty good. I'm gonna play around with it, see if we have any dropouts. I can hear the throttle body going. You hear it? Yes. That's adorable. So I don't see any issues right now. Okay. I'm just gonna start it up. So let's save that capture. Seems to rev up fine. Hmm. Well, no obvious problems detected at the moment. Last thing we can do is just look at the freeze frame data if it's available. So generic functions, freeze frame. And I doubt it's gonna give us Accelerator pedal position sensor one and two in the freeze frame. 
So we might have to come back with an oscilloscope and actually take it for a test drive and see if my wife's hypothesis was correct. Yeah. <laughs> Accelerator pedal position sensor. <laughs> That. Well, it has to do with the throttle body, so that's pretty close. I don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, so we have -na 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 -na, fuel trims, engine speed. Yeah, not very useful here. Throttle position was 16.5, so around there it occurred. So maybe if there's a, a bad spot in the potentiometer in the pedal, then somewhere around there. Okay, let's uh, we'll clear the codes out. Check engine lights off. Continue. Vehicle off. Vehicle on. That's a Subaru thing. No cr crank, no start. Long crank time. Long crank time. <laughs> Short crank time. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. One more check. Naggy, naggy. Let's go throttle control again. So we want accelerator pedal. Throttle angle, those guys there. Accelerator pedal, it's main and sub. Get it to that 16% with engine braking. So when the throttle is at 16%, we're at about 1.7, 1.6. Okay, put it in park. Shut it off. Turn it back on. Okay, our data is still trending. So right around 1.5, 1.6. Try to wiggle the throttle position. The pedal, maybe kick it. See if there's any dropouts. Not seeing any issues here. Exit. Just double check for codes one last time and then we'll take you girls home. <laughs> no codes present. Alright, well, that's it for now. We can't reproduce the problem. Um, but we can, you know, hook up the scope, the Pico scope, and look for glitches, play around with the wiring, try to reproduce it because I would hate to tell him, hey, go drive it, and then he gets, uh, you know, stranded again somewhere. 